I took this hunter from 5 to 50 in just a single match using only the wind filled silence with poison. In this video, we're going to look at how you can max out your hunter's level fast as possible. To get the biggest boost to XP there is, we're running solo in trios. High risk, high reward. So I've got a, a team of trios hunting me right now. I've got one trio hunting me. Try to queue into a solo lobby in trios by myself and hopes to get some footage. One down. Too far. Too far for the flare. I've accepted that I'm gonna have to give up my high ground. Since Lion the One-Eyed Hunter here turned to engage me, he could have already relayed my position to his team. Within seconds, I've decided I must keep up the pressure on a full frontal assault. If igniting the down body had been possible, I would have flanked right down through the building and onto the log pile they're approaching from. Notice how this hunter is already looking in my direction. I'm gonna need to remove positions. Wow. <coughs> now that I'm engaged in an active 1v2 fight, I must implement guerrilla warfare like tactics, never shooting from the same cover twice. Perfect. Yo, what's up, buddy? You wanna talk this out? Yo, we can talk this out, man. Hey, I'll talk this out with you, pal. I'll let you res. We can keep at it. Seriously, come on. Talk to me. I'll let you eat your reses off. I ain't afraid. GG's boys. To get my hunter from level 5 to 50, I simply shot everything in sight with this poison when you see. In my opinion, it's the best way to earn XP as fast as possible. Applicable on all bosses other than the spider, this gun with levering is the only way I'd bother wasting my time on Rotjaw. If it's your first time queuing solo into trios, I recommend finding a cheaper loadout you're comfortable with and capable of replacing should it be lost. Small factors such as the amount of familiarity and recent repetition with the weapon can be a huge deciding factor in a 1v3 scenario. Watch here as I throw caution to the wind. As I hear the team inside trapping up, I decide what better time to launch a surprise attack than when everyone's split up. to split the bounty with me? I am just the solo. And sometimes, believe it or not, if you ask nice enough, they just might share the bounty with you. This isn't sounding like one of those times. Would you like to split the bounty? I'm just a solo. Can we be civil?
GG's you guys. GG's. Too bad we could not be friends. Yo, are you solo? I'll split the bounty. You chill? If you're solo, I'll split the bounty with you. Just self res. Although I don't think you're alone. Pretty sure I heard someone draw back a bow. Yep. Sorry, lady. In this match, I was fortunate enough to spawn on the boss with only another duo in the server. Each hunter showed up, I was able to broker peace between them one at a time. Good. I don't see anyone else. But never forget how the bayou can corrupt and not everyone can be trusted. out Saint and I here have a small history together. Feel free to pause and read at your own discretion. Finally, with this two minute clip I'd like to show you what the majority of soloing in trios is, and that's just pure survival. With multiple people pushing effectively, alternating cover and fire, it can make the combat nearly impossible even with the scope and the high ground at this range. This is where the importance of Necro and Resilience come into play to help increase survivability odds. Here lies the beauty in Solo and Hunt. You define your own victories, and sometimes survival tastes sweeter than any bounty token ever could. Like if you enjoyed the video, and comment below about your thoughts on playing solo and using self-necro, as I know that's a very divisive topic. And subscribe for more Hunt videos. Hyro out.